Hi friends, this is Andrea Lake and I have a new process video for you today. I'm going to show you how I put together this happy birthday cut file layout. This is going to be mine and my daughter's new 12 by 12 decorating table decorating sign for our birthdays. I wanted to share my process, my thought process when it comes to intricate cut files. This one is definitely one of those that intimidates me and I'm sure that most people. But at the end of the day, it is one of those cut files that I enjoy the most backing. And the reason being, it's just the anticipation of how in the world I'm going to be able to complete this, to put this together. And I am very much looking forward to see how it looks like. Like I really want to see, these are the pieces that I really want to see the final result because I have no idea how it's going to turn out. When I work with, let's say a simple title or easier cut files, I, by knowing what papers I'm going to use, I kind of have an idea of what the end result would be. It is definitely not the same. <laughs> for an intricate one. So the very first thing that I do or that has helped me narrow down what papers I'm going to use to back the actual cut file is deciding on a background paper first to know what's going to be in the back and what's going to be behind my cut file definitely helps. And you'll see me I started with the the pink ombre pattern paper and I am using, by the way, I am using the brand new Splendid collection for to back this cut file. And as I said, I have that pink ombre paper, but then I'm also going to go ahead and do an actual backing for the, the entire cut file because you have all the letters, balloons, gifts, stars, banners, but then there are there are gaps in between those pieces so I will also find a paper for that and again as I was saying this will help me narrow down what papers and patterns I am actually going to include to back my cut file reason being I don't want to use a pattern paper to back let's say a letter or a balloon or a star that I know it's going to be, it's not going to be seen or it's not going to come up as bright as I want it just because it might be the same paper that I like, that I want to use for my background. And you could definitely do it the other way around. It's just a matter of personal preference for me. I also like as I'm backing my cut file to put that cut file against the background and see how everything is looking see if I'm making the right choices and by right choices I mean I'm choosing the pattern papers that I like there is no right or wrong especially with this kind of cut file you can do whatever you want I do like to keep in mind and we'll see as I I'll show you how I back a few of the pieces not the entire thing it, just so we can follow, just so you can follow a little bit of what I'm thinking right now. I try to choose, I start by, you saw me backing the happy birthday words first. It's because that's the center, that's the main focal point for this piece. So I wanted, to, I wanted to make sure that I chose the right paper and that the rest of the pieces that I decorate would, and the papers that I choose to back the rest of the pieces do not, do not compete with the papers I'm using for these two words. That's the main reason why I started with the happy birthday. After that, there are two different routes that I could have taken. I chose the route, the route of there is only one cake and I kind of know what colors I want for that cake. So it's an easy decision. I don't really have to think much. Let's go with what you know. I also knew that for the tiny stars um, around the edges, I was going to use gold cardstock. So I would keep that in mind. 
didn't want to back those from the beginning because that cardstock if there is any glue or any or anything on my surface it will it will show in the end so I, I would leave those pieces last but understanding that I already know what's gonna happen with them so I'm repeating for the three layers of my cake I think I tried to go with should we go with rainbow should I mess up with that and then I said mm -mm, no it's gonna be just the same two colors on the three on each one of the layers of the cake that makes it again easy the to me it's all about do what works for you just find those little things that might help your pro your decision making process easier faster because After having my cake that was let's say the biggest that was the biggest image the biggest piece after the happy birthday I'm going with shapes that repeat patterns that repeat so I can maybe use the same pattern papers for each one of the pictures for each one of the images again that will save you time because you don't really have to think how am I going to back each one of these tiny pieces? What colors I'm going to use? No, you're just repeating the same, the same pattern and that makes it easier. I was talking with a friend the other day and I think she was watching one of the videos and she asked me and she was just telling me that this is how, that she backs the cut files the same way. And if I knew of any other way that would help saving time and Paige Paige Evans actually has different videos. There are many different ways in which you could go about backing your cut files. One that seems to save time for some people is when you have your either your Cameo or your Cricut machines cutting the pieces for you. I have done it a few times. I am not sure. So far, it is not a process that really works for me it takes me so much time to see to find the right paper to make sure that i'm cutting the right pieces to move them correctly on the mat matching the pattern papers that i want and everything so it is not a technique that as of now saves me time so i go with this Either I trace the shape and I shape. cut it, cut I it cut perf perfectly, or I add the a piece of pattern paper and I add the cut file on top of it, and then I I fussy cut the excess. This, as of now, works for me, and it's a process that I enjoy. The backing this cut file, I also got that question when posted the pictures. Backing this cut file took me about, I would say, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours that, you know, I either played a movie, played music, I had either, I had a baseball game or a soccer game, something that would, you know, that I would have in the background. But again, it is, it is something that I love. Cut. Backing cut files and working with cut files in general, I think is what I enjoy the most when it comes to layouts. Okay, so all the pieces are backed. I just followed the same the same steps, looking for repeating 
images that will repeat and trying to use the same pattern papers or the same combo pattern papers to keep those images the same to keep everything consistent and so as you look around you will definitely see a lot of color popping but once you start looking into the details you will find those oh my gosh the banners are exactly the same she used the same papers but you know opposite sides the hearts are the same the balloons are the same the stars all have the same color so things like that that yes you get all of the color all of the color but you can still identify the you can still enjoy seeing each one of the images and trying to find those connecting pieces and those elements that that keep your project again consistent and it's not it looks like there is some thought behind behind it so i would love to hear from you I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I, um, you know, gave you some ideas, and and I hope I also can encourage you to try different cut files, those intricate ones, the intimidating ones, and see what happens. See if it's something that you would enjoy. And I would love to hear from you and see what kind of cut files. First of all, do you enjoy working using cut files or adding cut files to your layouts? what kind of cut files you like and what techniques do you use to back your cut files it is also very intriguing for me to know what other people think about this kind of project so again leave your comment in the box below i have all the links to the products that i used and the links to my social media channels i hope we can connect this was andrea lake for you today and i'll see you next time Bye bye